Hey guys, Grassman here. Play more of this game. Um, we were once again going for Ulutik. Um, because he's the last guy I don't have. I'll take money. And, yeah. Um. Yeah, let's just get into it. And someone wanted me to play Tanky, so we'll do more of that next video as well. Okay, get a relic right off the bat, that's good. We'll be able to get at least two, because I have taken Inheritance. We do have Plague, which isn't great, so we'll need to hold on to some prisoners to get the um, third request. Basis rumors. I have also turned off the voice, because he was kind of just like an being annoying last time. So we haven't got anything too bad so far. I'll move this down here. So we leave this guy, but we take the... We'll take more money as well. Hopefully we get the auction, because we have lots of ways to make money. Relic auction would be really helpful. So answer it to his first request. So his quest line has started. Uh, no suspicion yet. We will go through fairly fast. I don't have enough for spoils of war. I will get two relics as long as I can hold on to them and not get, like, greed killed. I don't need the extra food. We do have infestation. So we have infestation and plague. If we get more bad cards, we might just reset. We have a lot of ways for money. We are forced to pick up a lot of cards here. I don't sack the food, because if I sack the food, I'll be forced to, like, feed off a prisoner or a cultist and we get way too many. Take a couple extra prisoners. We're over from greed anyway. Just hope we don't lose the relic of draw it immediately. Okay, we have two relics. Um, we have to get something that's going to cost us the added greed. And we lose both relics, of course. Yeah, it's very favored towards losing a relic, because of course it is. Um, we're going to get greed again if we have to. The wrong kind of attention, that's fine. We need three people for the next request. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's take the things. So we have... We have spoils of war, that's it. I still have no food. Some of, now I have food, now I have greed though as well. Perfect. So there's actually two of those things you can get from Necron Necronomicon. You can get one that's set as one, um, and it'll always make you lose one, but then because of that, it'll, it gives you an option if there's no one left to read, you won't lose anything. Um, the other option is it'll lose half. It'll lose the ma uh, half plus one, so like the major half. Okay, the K and Rot, that's not great because we still need food. If we take a cultist, we get plus three, so we're okay from that. Um, she's a prisoner. Get the food. Okay, we got disease, organs, and then day job. So, we need cultists. Oh, I should use, oh, I should use money because I have organs. Okay, whoops. Let's get lots of money so we can go for, um, paying off doctors and things. I'm not actually gonna take the money here because I'm worried about greed. I won't add music or anything to this video because we already have... Yes, yeah, this one's the half one. Um, we already got some nice chill background stuff. Music of this game is really nice. Yeah, but like I was saying before, we can't pick up five. I'll take prisoners, um, that gives us the three we need to sacrifice. Oops, that one. Like I was saying before, I'll start adding in music and making thumbnails and stuff. I'll make a thumbnail for this video and I'll only add music into things that games that don't already have music, because there's no point otherwise. Uh I'll wait. Hopefully I don't know if we need a relic for this guy's later parts. Because I've made the sacrifice, I don't know what he needs next. Because I've never gotten further than this. We're only four minutes in, but Um, we're at four for suspicion. I think one of each, because I know we have um, infestation coming at some point. Spoils of War is good. This gives us an actual chance of getting relics, and we're going to need this, assuming the guy's going to need a relic later on. At least for now, it seems like he might need a bit of everything, because he's so far he's... Um, one was nothing, which... Okay. Um, so maybe that's like money or food or something. But one was he gave us suspicion, and one was he needed cultists or people. So maybe the other ones are like food, money, and a relic. So, charity, organs, and then that. So, charity right off the bat. 
Get rid of some suspicion. We don't have great ways of getting rid of suspicion here. Um, I think it's worth it for the money. I want to be paying off doctors and stuff. Once we get disease. So we got that. We're at 15 cards. As long as we're not picking things up immediately, there's infestation. Um, I don't want to lose the people. Unfortunately, there's no way to pay for... With the exterminator, you still lose a food regardless. Uh, hopefully I don't immediately get the Dracula event. Okay, it's fine from now. That's a private doctor. Now we have enough space to be able to feed off the prisoner. And I'll get greed. Uh, that works. That will give us the glitch, though. So we will... Settings, resume... X, perfect. Okay, so... A body of gold and iron. Prepare a host. Okay, so yes, yeah, so what? We've taken suspicion, we've given him people, we've given him money. So next is food and then relics. We need we need food for this time, and we need to get relic from one of the spoils. So I'll will get I'll get some food out of uh, organ harvest if we can. This is fine. I'll take a raid. I've never had this many like just suspicion and cultists. Okay, take the food. So we're gonna have lots of food, but assuming he'll need... Presumably he needs three food, right? Because he's done three of everything else. It was three suspicion, three people, three money. Now it's probably gonna be three food, and as long as it's not three relics, um, we should be fine. I don't know what the last one's going to be, though, and that's what I'm worried about. I do still need the food yet. Um, perfect! That's what we needed. This could be it. Let's immediately go Spoils of War so we can try and get more relics for next time in case anything happens. There goes one guy so we can get the meats, but that's fine. Still have a prisoner. There's one guy. We also don't lose two from getting uh, meats then, because otherwise we would have lost another cultist. Uh, we'll take two money because we don't have any right now. I don't know what we'll need for this next one. We have a bit of everything if necessary. Refill our coffers, because we are going into the next thing, so we're probably going to lose some cards immediately. As long as we don't get tax break first thing, we should be fine. Okay. Its presence is almost palpable. I did not see that thing coming. Um, that's very lucky we can afford that. So it wasn't food, it was a bit of everything. Paint a circle in blood. So after money, it wasn't just food. It was food, but also cultists and other things. I think we're gonna take a lot of money, and we're gonna have to. We're gonna need some. We're gonna need to like get the relic. So we're gonna just need to get lucky with getting a relic here. We need to get it from this. We have two more spoils of war coming, but that, that's I think the only chance. Because I think we're gonna need a relic for this one. At least we know what we need, though. We can always go run it again. If we're lucky, he just wants like a bunch more money or something, but I doubt it. Uh, quarantine. Okay, there's people. Um. Okay, what do we have coming? We got spoils, traveling, and then day job. Um, traveling and day job aren't helpful. We need spoils, though. Perfect. We might be able to win this, actually. That's, that was really lucky in the double relic. I'm gonna do this anyway to lower the amount of cards we have and even out, so if we need the extra food, we can manage. Um, I would like to get a spare prisoner if possible. I think we have a recruiting opportunity coming up yet. Hmm. Well, again, that's fine. That's a double relic out of that thing is amazing. Okay, take the kidnapping, as long as we... Do we still... If we get greed, we're so screwed. Okay, that's like perfect. I have no idea what the last request is, but we can maybe get it right here. We have a relic. Your mind burns with its final demand. The ritual, yes! Five Wrath of the Gods to abandon my task. Is that even survivable? 
That would be, that would be like the biggest challenge of this entire game. Manage to not only build this guy up to his last thing, but then also survive it. Wow, we got that first try too. Yeah, so it was... Yeah, that was a hard, that was a hard one then. So, I think I actually know what all like the requirements of these guys are now, because I've done, I've actually played this game enough. Which is impressive to have all, have all the guys and things memorized. So this guy needed, he needed to call him, which is the first one. Second one is take of an, is take. So it was pretty much everything, sort of. It just wasn't a big food one. It was everything. It was, second was three suspicion. Third was three people. Um, fourth was three money. Fifth was two food, two money, and two cultists. That's probably the hardest one. Um, yeah, so that was... Fourth was money. Fifth was everything. Fifth was the big one. And that was the first six as well. I've never seen something that requires six. I think that's the only one in the game that requires six of something. The only other thing that does six anywhere is where it gives you six resources right off the bat. Um, I guess actually there's a couple. The rob bank gives, like the bank robbery gives like, or the robbing the store gives like four and two. And I think the bank robbery gives the same four and two. Um, and sometimes you're able to give like three money and four or five suspicion, depending on how much suspicion you have built up in a police raid. Um, but those are the only cases. But aside from like the varying ones, um, I think that's the only one I've actually seen. Aside from like the, aside from the varying ones, and like the bank robbery and, um, what was it? And the and the ro and the rob the place in the job one. So yeah, it required six, and the last one was just a relic. I was worried to be like two relics or something, or it might be one of the things like. Similar to, I think one of the biggest sacrifices needed is um, the Whale Guys ones, where it's five people or two relics, which is insane. Like, two relics is really hard to get. Um, although he, you can get him fairly fast, as long as you got, like, if you can get, like, the double tutorial god glitch immediately, um, he can, that's not too bad if you can get a relic from anywhere else. If you can, like, read the Necronomicon, get one from the Ancestors, getting a second relic early game isn't too bad, you pretty much get one for free anyway, but... Okay, I've never seen this guy's powers either, so we'll play another game to see his powers. So, Sacrificial Pact, great power at great price. Interesting. He looks very similar to Ryback, eh? And Smooth s smooth Sayer. Smooth Sayer in town. Knowledge is power. So that's probably another, that's probably another fortune reading one, because they pretty much all have something like that. Aside from beginnings, like, this guy's got Aspiry. This guy's got Tasting the Future. This one doesn't have one as well. This one also doesn't have one. And this one's got Smooth Sayer, and this one's got Umancy. Umancy. First try, not bad. Um, so we immediately have his. Let's take the other three. Base three, like the best ones, easily. Okay, Sacrificial Pact. Great power at great price. Material wealth, souls for the work. Our relics are too valuable. Wow, so this guy, you can exchange a relic for five money or five cultists. That's actually, like, if you have access to relics, that is worth it in only very limited circumstances. The robbing the relic gives you a relic, costs two cultists and three suspicion, and it'll take two more cultists to ward off the three suspicion from the police. Meaning that is a benefit of one cultist in that long game. But that is, that is like, so much stuff that's happening in between. I don't think that's worth it. The relic for the money is maybe... The only way I can see it being worth it is, like, against, like, some of them, like, the Whale God, like, use, being able to use one relic to get five people, and then use the five people as a sacrifice instead of needing two relics. Generally, like, one relic is worth about five anyway, um, which is why it's, like, better, always better to take the relic than the triple money in, in, from the inheritance. Let's take, let's go from again and see what we can get. I don't know if we have time to do this. I want to see what, other, what his other thing does, at least. Get one in children. Get the one money for three cultists and two suspicion is so good. Uh, we did immediately greed out, but it's fine. I'm not trying to win this one. That's why you. That's why you don't go to fifteen cards. You should always leave two in case you're gonna get something bonusy like that. Lost all our food. Thank you. Fishing trip is good to just get that one extra food sometimes. Okay, come on, what's the second card? Uh, let's take the prisoners. Yeah, 
Yeah, they, they all, like, all have some... Like, half of them or so have, like, the foresight thing. There goes three suspicion. Well, that's cleared that up. I have so many cultists. I had up to six relics at one point as well. I got a new record. Okay, so this one. So, knowledge is power. So, this one is free foresight, change the future, foresight with discard, future should be a mystery. Okay, so this guy, this is the, this is the same as Umancy, where it's a free foresight. Um, but this one is with money. You can pay a money to get the foresight with discard. Um, so this is like the same pretty much as Umancy, but it's money instead of food. And his other thing was like a relic for stuff instead of money for chance, for like the, for the farm. Okay, so these last two guys then... So overall for powers, they're not... Like, God of Beginnings is easily the best with like the free beginner's luck and the ability to get like a free relic. Um, Ryabax's necromancy is like crazy good. I've been thinking of like doing some speedrunning for this game. Um, but there's been like some serious routing questions about like... Also like the question of which run should that we actually be done. Because in theory, there's three different ways you can do it. Um, way one is to have to reset before your run. So you have to do everything in order. You have to get God of Beginnings first, and then one of the next two, then the next two, then the last two. Um, option two is if you're allowed to change the order by doing any God first, in which case um, you're, going, you're going for the Whale and Jati first. Um, well, you're going for Beginnings first, because you want, you want to be able to get the Relic. But then you go Whale and Jati. Um, and I don't, I don't know the way is, what's, what's the Whale's name? How do you pronounce that? That's like the only one I can't pronounce. Kekujila. So you're going for Jati and Kekujila, um, because they're the luck-based ones. And there was, like, a third way you could theoretically run it. Um, I don't remember what that was. But yeah, there's, like, the option of, like, do you run it from the beginning, or do you run it from, uh, with everything unlocked, and you're allowed to get whichever gods you want. And, oh, and, and then the other thing was, um, if you're running it in any order, are you allowed to use the powers of gods you haven't unlocked yet? So are you allowed to, so, like, there's, like, three different speedruns you could do. So, like, one where you start from the beginning, one where you have the... One where you can go for whatever gods first, but you can only use the powers of the ones you've unlocked. Because that, I mean, that's actually different from if you're allowed to get them in any order and use any powers. Um, because then, like, God of... Like, Beginnings, Rybacks, and Windigo are generally the three your, three powers you want regardless. Um, I could I could see an argument for Yakare or Ultix. I could maybe see an argument for Ultix. I don't think Yakare's y- farm just sucks. But I could see an argument for Ultix because of sac- um, Sacrificial Pact. It's not good, but if you have two relics, it can help, like, the whale getting the people instead. Um, so I could see, like, going for, like, an... Like, using Ultix power instead of, like, the Windigos. Because Windigos... Windigos harvest is really good for going you care. Because, um, he needs the food. Um, and you'd also get the money easily for Jati. So, Windigo is really good to get Jati or Yakare. Um, and Ultik's power would be quite good for Kekujila, along with God of Beginnings doubled. Um, or even just single, assuming you can get a second relic somewhere. But yeah, so, let me know if you guys want me to try some speedrunning. Unfortunately, the thing is, like, it would take, like... Because each god takes a fair bit of time, even if you get them each try, each first try, it takes, like, 40 minutes. So, I, I, I could do... This game doesn't have ads, so I could do, like, a stream where I speedrun this game, and we can see how fast we can get. But yeah, the routing, like, the routing actually does change. Um, obviously you have to go, like, the normal way through for most of them if you're doing, like, a reset route. But if you're doing one where it's, you have to, the main strategy comes in with, if you want to do one where you have to beat the god to unlock its powers, but you can start with any god. Then it becomes, like, genuine, like, you probably want to start with God of Beginnings anyway, because you really need his relic power from Inheritance. But, like, do you go for... Do you go... Like, who do you go for next? Do you take the two luck ones, Jati and Kekujila? Because they're so luck-based, you kind of need to get them out of the way to have, like, a good chance for runs. Or do you go Rybax for the Servants, or or Windigo for... Um, Windigo for Organ Harvest. Because Organ Harvest will really help with Jati, and Servants is just always super helpful, because it's free people. Um... And then presumably, like, you're going for... You're probably going for Yakare last anyway, because he adds nothing. His powers suck. Um, also, Kegujira's powers suck. Problem is, he's just luck-based. 
So you want to go for both him and Jati fairly early, even though they have, like, debatably the worst powers. Um, Jati's assassination isn't bad. So going for, like, a, like, God of Beginnings into Ryabax, into Jati, Kekujira, then Windigo, then Ultik, and Yake, Yakair. Um, I could, I could see a route like that. But Yakair, you're pretty much always going for last, because you don't use powers for anything. Um, and you need Windigo at least before him. Um... But if you could take, like, Ult Ultic before... You probably wouldn't go Ultic before Kekujira as well. Because trying to go Ultic early on... Like, that would that would assume you're going for, like, Beginnings straight into Ultic. Because, like, unless you're going, like, Beginnings, Rybacks, Ultic... Then you're going Kekujira, but then Jati's... Jati is so luck-based and you saved him way too far. So you gotta go for, like, at least Jati and Kekujira, and no longer than, like, 3rd and 4th. I'd say, like, Beginnings into Rybacks, maybe? Into then Jati. Or Beginnings into Windigo into Jati... Kekujira could be a could be the run. Um, if you went Rybax first, then presumably, if you go God, if you go beginnings into Rybax, I'm not sure exactly what your plan is to get Jati and Kekujira, but maybe you're going for Windigo third then. But yeah, so let me know what kind of if you want me to do speedruns. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. That was fun. Um, remember if you like like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know for what other gods you want to see if you want to see anything normal, normally. Um, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. And someone wanted me to play Tankio, so that'll be the next video. Hope you enjoyed this next time. Bye, guys.